Hi everyone, um, this is a video I'm going to be making specifically to, um, to talk about the Mandela Effect. And um, I'm not going to get into any theories as to what I think it is. I'm just going to get into some of my own personal experiences and some of my own um, opinions and takes on those experiences and uh, when it started for me and things like that um it's really hard for me to pinpoint exactly when this began but i'm gonna say it was around 2011 and for some reason the the thing that comes to mind the first thing that always comes to mind is the japanese tsunami and earthquake that happened in 2011 that seems to be like some kind of trigger point that I always fall back on when I think I can't verify these sort of changes started and um, uh, of course the first things would be the um, really strange um, synthetic clouds that it started to look like completely fake to me like they would just roll in like like something or someone just like created these fake puffy little clouds and the the color was wrong the texture was wrong the the shapes were wrong and i think it was really the clouds that that was like the first thing that I noticed um, and I, I, in conjunction with the geoengineering spring that I was witnessing too and that's around that same time when I first started to take notice of those as well um, so gradually after that um, I noticed the Sun and the moon have uh, changed and not just changed their beyond just change i mean it's like we're in a completely different planet <sighs> this one bothers me a lot this one really bothers me a lot because i don't understand how anyone could look at the moon and the sky that we have right now and um think that that is our real moon that is something that is not real our real moon is somewhere there, but we probably don't see it with our eyes. It's probably behind that projection or whatever it is that has changed. I mean, it looks so fake. It looks so phony. It's like a, it's like an LED light. It's like a flashlight. Like somebody's just shining some kind of weird bulb in the sky. And the same goes for the sun. The sun just bothers me be, to no end. Just this. He, what once was this beautiful yellow radiant magnificent yellow light that that just filled you with joy when you were outside and and, and you were in the sun and he, i lived for many years in southern arizona and i i loved being out in that sun even in the summer i enjoyed it i it filled me with happiness and joy and I go out right now and I, I can't bear the Sun for five minutes I try forget the lockdowns and social distancing I've been trying to stay indoors and not go out as much for for years now and even though I do and I keep trying and trying and trying because I I keep wanting to get that sense back that the, the sense back of what I what I used to know and I do hike a lot. I've hiked many places. I've been in many national parks. I'm an outdoors type of person. And I go out and I go out on these hikes. And each time I go, I was just on one recently. Things just keep looking more and more phony to me. Like it's not even just the sun and the moon and the sky anymore. It's I make careful observations of the plants. The plants, they look too perfect. The colors look almost digital like 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 you're in some kind of advanced computer you're looking at these colors like why are all these plants in this wilderness like literally the exact same identical color i just 
I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like every, there's should be a lot more variation of shade and color out in nature. The, the, the flowers seem too perfect. They seem too good to be true. Like you're looking at them and some people are saying, you know, we're ascending into some kind of a higher dimension. This is like a fourth dimension, fifth dimension, blah, blah, blah. What kind of dimension is this? Is it a higher dimension in the techno realm, in the synthetic digital realm? Or is it a is it a divinely ordained higher dimension? Because this certainly doesn't feel divine to me. It's not just the appearance. It's the 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 harmony, the the tone, the the fulfillment that I used to get out on a nature walk, on a hike, you know, kayaking. It's that sense of beauty and wonder that sort of permeated the air, that, that awe-inspiring kind of sensation of life. It's like turned off. It's off. You, you go out and it's everything is like dead. And you look at all this stuff, you look at the trees, and to me they don't look alive. It looks like it's just a simulated construct to make it look and seem like life but it's not actual life it doesn't feel that way there's no harmony like every place has its own unique tone every place has its own unique harmony that would sing that would resonate and you see this and there's no resonance could it be that just the earth is in deep uh, ecological trouble and the earth is literally dying and that's why could there be more practical explanations is it just me is it me who's changed but i'm having a lot of trouble believing this to be the case a lot of trouble because the appearance of the sun and the moon is just far too different for it to just be me it really bothers me guys it really does deeply everything has changed and not in a good way for me Along that, there's a lot of smaller Mandela effects I've experienced. There was a microwave I had in my kitchen. Um, it had no logo on the front, none, ever. And one day I woke up, there was a logo that said Westinghouse right on it. And I asked my wife, where is it from? I've never seen this logo before. And she just kind of blew it off and was like, I don't know. Um, I have one time, like... One of my older effects was um, I was scheduled. I had a schedule at work that would start at 3:30 p.m. every single day. I walk in the office one day and I'm looking at the schedule, and it said three for the whole week. And I basically asked my boss, "Why did you change my schedule? It's always been 3:30." He's like, "Oh no, it's always been three. You've just been coming in at 3:30, and we just never said anything." Which makes absolutely no damn sense to me. I work at this point. I'm working at this place for six months, and you never say anything to me that my schedule is different. How does that make any sense? Um, other things. Um, another apartment complex. I'm I'm still currently working at. Uh, every day I'm there. the The color of the buildings are brown every single day. One day I pull up, they're all white. It's like, and these are massive complexes. I mean, thousands and thousands of units. You can't paint them white overnight. I come up there and they're all white. Um, things like that. Um, a little statuette of, uh, coincidentally, a lion and a lamb just shows up in my apartment. That I, no one ever knew where it came from. It's, I'll, I'll find it later, but it's this little statuette that has a lion with a lamb. Never seen it before, don't know, I guess it might have been a gift or something like that, but it just didn't look familiar to me whatsoever. Other things, other smaller things, and then of course, you know, Nelson Mandela, that was a big one for me. I did a report on Nelson Mandela in high school. I did a speech in front of class, and I clearly remember him dying in, in prison very clearly. The movie Shazam, all these other things, all these other things that people are talking about, I've been deeply affected by too, which I'm not going to get into right now. The main point I wanted to make in today's video is the change in the sky 
and the sun and the moon and and nature the the appearance the the it, it's just it's bothering me so much i can't talk to anyone about it i don't i don't even know what to say it's just it's driving me to the edge of insanity i hope someone can relate please comment on this video if you can